Oh. Oh. I know you don't do a lot of talk shows, if any at all. I never saw you on Regis and Kelly or nothing. None. Yeah. I, I'm kind of quiet. I like to just chill. But I love you, Wendy. I had to come on here. Thank you, Amber. Thank you. Okay. I'll give you a little background while you take Amber in because really, you know, that your look is is what has made you the person that you are today. Thank you. You you never have to talk again, and it's all about the look. So you drink her in, and I'll give you the skinny. Okay. <laughs> Amber is from do cheesy drinking into start up like this, go like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Amber is from Philly, everyone, and and she she was raised by her mother, who uh, was a waitress. Yes. And she was a stripper. <laughs> Amber was a stripper. And she's made no secret. She also is bisexual. She's made it no secret. Right. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> so, um, about three years ago, we first saw Amber with Kanye West. Turns out that was his his boy, his girlfriend, his his muse, and and you just strolled the world looking exactly like that picture right there. Yeah. Fabulous and mysterious. Yeah. Fabulous. And about almost a year ago, Amber and Kanye broke up. We're not sure it's who broke up with who or what, but she's got a new boyfriend. His name is Wiz Khalifa. And, and he's a rapper too. And he's from, he's from um, Pittsburgh. And he's, his well, a song that we were introduced to him on is black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. So anyway, so now she's in love. And so now let's talk with Amber. Amber. <laughs> I'm getting all Barbara Walters on you. <laughs> Amber, how did you meet Kanye West? Um, he actually called me to do his Robocop video in LA. I was living in New York at the time, and um, he flew me out to do the video, and we shot the video, which never came out. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I, we just like hit it off at that time, and we were just together for two years. At that point, because like, it sounds so random that you went out there and the video never came out, but you guys found love. Did you ever fly back to New York and live a single Amber Rose life, or you, you were boyfriend and girlfriend practically from the gate? Just from the gate. Gate from the gate. Yeah, you, yeah. You're featuring, by the way, the stiletto nails, which I love to look at on other women. Thank but, you. But yeah, yeah, show the camera. Don't you love these girls? They, they're pointy. I love them. So now, just this past weekend, everybody, Kanye is on tour right now with Jay-Z. They're doing the Watch the Throne tour. They have an album out together. And they were in Amber City of Philadelphia. Amber was not at the concert. Um, I was not. But um, Kanye got on stage and thanked Philly for making Amber Rose. Uh-huh. And, and, and apologized for criticizing your, your hair and your look and stuff. Uh, how'd that make you feel? Um... <sighs> You know, <laughs> you know, he kind of said that he was, you know, well, he didn't kind of, he said it, that he was, he was an a-hole, and he was mean to me, and he was, he, he didn't treat me the way he was supposed to. And, you know, I accepted his apology, because, um, you know, I feel like he's remorseful for how he treated me. Yes. And, you know, I'm just going to keep it moving. I mean, it was a nice gesture. I just... Do you think he wants you back? I don't care. <laughs> the thing is, the, the thing is, is that you know you're one of those girls. Like I, you know, you're with. You, we didn't know you. Then you were with Kanye. I never heard you messing around. I never heard her messing around. I don't, maybe you guys did, uh, with with other with athletes or other people. So you know, it's it's not like you're a celebrity jumper. Mm -hmm. Um. 
This thing that happened with Taylor Swift at the MTV Awards when Kanye was drinking brown liquor on the red carpet out of the bottle <laughs> and then got inside and was sitting next to Amber and then Taylor Swift got the thing for thing of the year, not Beyonce, and then he right. jumped on stage. Yeah. Do you remember that night? I remember it very well. It's yeah, so I was, well, I was sitting right next to him uh -huh. and I was clapping for Taylor because I'm a fan. And I just look over and he's gone. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm like, where the hell did he go? Yeah. And he was on stage and, you know, I'll tell you this, Wendy. He instantly felt bad. As soon as he got down, he instantly felt bad. He was like, oh my God, what did I just I do? I believe that. He, he, gives did. Us, he gives us total cuckoo crazy, Kanye. And, and I love you, but cuckoo. No, but yeah. you know what? I mean, you know, not to, to, to sit up here and, and, and pick up for him, but you know, he's obviously friends with Beyonce and he knows how hard she works. He knows that everyone in the entire world did the single ladies dance. And I guess he just felt passionate. That everyone should do it, that, that, well, that she that, should have won. That she should have won. So now, where do we go from here with your relationship with Wiz Khalifa? Because you can't get back together with Kanye now, because now you've said it on the show, we're all going to be watching. I will never get back with Kanye. There's, there's no way. I want to be with Wiz for the rest of my life. Like, he... Are you, are you married? We're not married. You're no. not married. Uh, do you believe in marriage? I never did until I met Wiz. Really? I really didn't. No, I just kind of, you know, every relationship I've had, especially being a stripper since I was 15 years old, I, I never looked at men like, I never thought it would happen for me. Only because you discovered men as dirt, like dirty. They're tricking off in the strip club mm -hmm. behind their wives and girlfriends back. And yeah, I yeah. get, I get that. Yeah. I heard that you, um, well, first the, the reality show. Whatever happened to Amber Rose, the reality show, was that supposed to be um, hip -hop, love and hip hop? Were you supposed to be a part of no, that reality show? No, 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 okay. no. Um, I, you know, Wendy, when you do reality shows, or when you do a pilot for a reality show, you, you present it to the network, and then they're like, either we love it or we don't. Okay. And they loved my pilot, but they wanted me to be somebody that I'm not. And I couldn't, you know, in this business, it's like you either sell your soul for money, and you... You, you do what they tell you it's to do. It's very difficult to be on TV and not be yourself. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I decided to just take another route and just be myself. And I have to do what makes me happy. I have to sleep at night. So I can't, you know, I can't, fully, I can't sell out. Look at her there with Madonna, grabbing your booty. That was awesome. Where was that? That was, oh man, it was some party in New York. You know, I kind of got in trouble for that picture because a photographer took it and sent it to my ex, and then I took it from my ex and posted it on Twitter. Uh -huh. And they thought like I got paid for it or something. I'm like, dude, Madonna's touching my butt. Like I gotta post it on yeah. Twitter. Yeah. I have to. Okay. Now, you know, there were rumors, and they were a little murky, so maybe you'll clear the waters. That um, you were the and these were only rumors. We never saw pictures or anything. You were the cause of Kim and Reggie's final <sighs> breakup. No, that's not true. No. Um, me and Kanye broke up. Why? Mm, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No, one thing about me is that I'm not a homewrecker. I would never date a man in a relationship or a married man. I just Aww. wouldn't do it. Um, but I broke up with Kanye, and he broke up with Kim, and we met right after. Uh -huh. And we were both going through, like, a hard time, so we kind of... We were like each other's rebounds, basically. It was brief, it was nice, he's a great guy. A, a little sex, a little dinner, and then that's that. Oh, Wendy. Yes. <laughs> listen, listen, we're adults. Now let me ask you this. Cause when Kim was taking New York and Kanye was in some of the scenes and stuff, mm -hmm, that was, was <laughs> Come on. Did, did anything pop off with those two? I mean, two? come on, like, you know. Of course. We'll keep it cute. <laughs> We well, like well, Amber. Cute. <laughs> it's cute. Okay. It's cute. All right. Look, there's a couple other things. Oh, were you paid off not to speak after you and Kanye's relationship dissolved? No. No. I can say whatever I want about Kanye. I can say whatever I want about our relationship. I'm just, um, I'm not into that. You know, I always like to take the high road. I'm a very positive person, very spiritual. I like to just, you know, I believe in karma. So. Whatever happened in our relationship, I don't feel the need to like write a book or, you know, just like dog him out or anything like that. I just want to keep it moving. I mean, Amber, 
As a professor of pop culture, I wish that you'd talk and I wish that you wrote the book. But as a lady and a woman, I like her style. Yay. She's not doing that. I like your style. Thank you. So now you are going to be writing a book. Is it going to be loosely based on anybody's life no, in I'm the room? I'm, <laughs> I'm writing books, you know, so it's going to be romance. It's going to be, um, you know, just a lot of different emotions. A lot of things that I've been through in my life. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like I said, I, I, I was a dancer at 15 years old. Me and my mother were homeless. You know, I, I, I did what I had to do to survive. Also stories about my friends, my family, what everybody's been through. I just have a lot to say, so I just want to put it out in books. It's just, like, great story, interesting is it, stories. Is it really difficult being you now? Because, um, you know, you, you got famous for being famous by, by messing around with famous guys. But I, I like you. Is it difficult <laughs> for you to have friends, girls, women? Do you... Yeah, it's very difficult. It's very difficult. I actually... Um, you know, I had an assistant, which I thought was like one of my best friends, uh -huh. and she became obsessed with me. She became like a stalker. She was like listening to Wiz more than I listened to Wiz. She had, she had Wiz stickers all over, and she was just like, she shaved her head. It was weird. It was crazy. Uh, speaking of the shaving of the head, nobody does it like you. Everybody else, keep your wigs on. Keep them on. <laughs> you look, look. This, this hairline of yours and the shape of your head. You have to have the right shaped head. You have to have the right shaped ears. Every, you. you have to have the right hairline. Like, like I've seen you on the internet with wigs on. Just leave the wigs to the rest of us with small heads totally. and, and lumps and but bumps. But you know, Wendy, I'm a girl. So like I had this for like eight years now, going on nine years. So I get bored. Keep like, it going. I want to play dress up. I want to put hair on sometimes. But Keep it going. I and look I, I, I'm like the only girl in the world that looks better ball headed. And, but that's good. <laughs> And keep it going. We want to see you in Gucci ads. We want to see you walking runways. And most of all, we just like to see you. Thank you for coming here to talk. Because she's not a talker. And all of you can check out Amber Rose, uh, Master of the Mix. On B Are you talking? On Master well, of the Mix? Yes. And I'm also working on music. And I'm designing for members only. Woo! And I'm Amber on Rose. Movie, so check me out. Master of the Mix on BET Saturdays at 12 a.m.